This season on Scams and Cons, we're going to do something different. For most of the season, we'll be focusing on what may be the longest con of all, vanishing. If you're successful, no one will hear of you again. It's not illegal to disappear unless you're running from the law or legal obligations, but it's not easy. You'll move to a place where you won't be recognized. If you do make friends, you will need to be careful about what information you share with them. And perhaps the most difficult thing, you can never see or contact anyone from your previous life. You can't even watch them from afar as returning to your former neighborhood puts you at great risk of being recognized. You will constantly worry about cameras. It's nearly impossible to avoid them these days. Even if you decline to be photographed, you could unknowingly end up in the background of someone's vacation photo or selfie. Those that care about you will want to know if you've been killed or lying unidentified in a hospital. It wouldn't be uncommon for them to spend tens of thousands of dollars on private investigators to get an answer. People want to know what happened because they don't want to go through the rest of their lives not knowing. You'll be running this cat and mouse con on them, but at the same time you'll be running a different con on everyone else. Others must accept the fact that you pay only with cash, you don't own a credit card or have a bank account, you may not even have a telephone. Unless you've done your preparation really well, you won't have the basic documents needed to live in society. You may not have a driver's license and might not have a car. And try renting an apartment without a credit history or other identification. You'll have to find a job that either doesn't ask too many questions or accepts falsified documents. Either way, don't expect to get rich. That draws attention. Would you like fries with that? In this series of episodes, we won't deal with people in the Witness Protection Program. They have access to proper documents. They have people they can trust and can call upon if they're in trouble. But we also won't avoid that elephant in the room. The final episode will describe witness protection programs, how they teach you to pull off the con, and what it's like to be swept away from your home without warning. We also won't be dealing with criminals or those who want to avoid legal obligations. Our con artists are doing nothing illegal. They simply want to vanish. In our first episode, we'll explore why people would want to vanish and not be found. In later episodes, we'll talk about how they do it, where they go, how searchers pursue them, and the greatest challenge they'll face, loneliness. You'll also hear from a woman whose husband disappeared years ago, and to this day, she doesn't know why or where he is. If you're a long-time listener of Scams and Cons, think about what cons you would have to run in order to vanish. Would you use a pigeon drop and get money from greedy strangers? Maybe some social engineering to get documents? Or become a romance scammer to relieve some other lonely person of their savings? If you can disappear and convince everyone else around you that you're not who they think you are, then you've successfully pulled off one of the longest cons of all and you can't tell a soul about it. I want to hear what you think about this series or anything else about the podcast, so head over to our newly designed website, scamsandcons.com, and send me a message. Your feedback is important to me.